it's a sculpty tool and it is plastic so it does not hold up really well but they're inexpensive and I replace them as the plastic kind of gets chewed up I really like both ends of it today I want to show you the only tools that I used to create is she running hot or cold today so I first showed you the sculpty tool I really now love and I use both and uh, the size and the shape work really well for working around ears and noses and eyes. It's from the kitchen for um, frosting cakes and it's a little flexible but I did use this to reduce the outside perimeter and to also um, shape um, the cheekbones and around the face when I have a larger area I need to cut away. I did use these two brushes. This very fine one I use to clean around the eyes. And, and this one I used just to smooth the transition between when I added um, concrete on to certain areas. And you'll always see that and so either use your finger or I want a little finer feature on hers so I did use the brush so it's already setting up when this is used otherwise you're moving mud around. These sheet rocks spun this long and I cut them apart into about this length and this is what happens they get very chewed up but I like the flexibility because you're going around cheekbones and noses um, and again, I'm not trying to do the entire surface. This one, the one I got from the countertop um, company, is it is on foam, but it's not flexible enough. So it really only hits the high points, which is not what I want to accomplish. So that, unless you're doing a great big piece and you know have a lot more flat area, it doesn't work. Um, as well around all the curves of a oh, face. Uh, this <laughs> scissors has just become a really awesome tool to have around the studio for all kinds of things. It is a Cutco scissors. Cutco, as you may be familiar with knives, and now they have the scissors that they warranty to cut through almost anything. Uh -huh. I have cut through things you would not. But how I use it with the um, concrete is sometimes I'm taking fabric and putting it in a concrete slurry and it's completely absorbed and when I go to use it I decide it's a little too big or too much and I want to reduce the size of it so I'm cutting through concrete slurry fabric and you know what happens I've gone through a lot of other scissors which won't cut much after I use it in a, a con it's a great tool. I use these bottles to add liquid onto the surface as I'm sculpting so it will accept new concrete on the top. And when I was doing the hair I did something um, different because this is my add mix and it's white and if you leave it on the surface it will leave your concrete a lighter color, which you don't want. And so I wanted more moisture on the top without worrying about that white coloring. So my gloves that I use, I just dip my hand in a pitcher of water. So my hand was really dripping wet. And then I could sculpt and shape the hair uh, more like I wanted curls and waves and and such and you know I really do that with my hands and not tools These are all of the things that I used yesterday's sculpture if you want to see further videos on my products of sculpting concrete please subscribe to my channal Barbara Liss Montana Bliss Artworks thanks